Okay, we have taken care of the criminal element in the lower areas of the city, and hopefully we can get what we need now. Come on now. Come on. Let's just do this thing. I heard the news. Jarvia and her Carter are dead. I suppose it was unrealistic to expect them to surrender. They were vermin. I cleaned them out. And did Orzammar and me a great service. I have no desire to go back on my word, but when Balin heard the news about Jarvia, he raised the stakes. He is forcing a vote in the next two days. By law, that prevents the Assembly from hearing any other pleas. To help with your troops, I will require your assistance one last time. Do you know anything of the Paragon Branca? I've heard the name. Branca is a Paragon. The only one we have been blessed with in four generations. Two years ago, she took her entire house into the deep roads on a mad quest to uncover ancient secrets. No one's heard from her since. Were she to return and endorse someone for the throne, the Assembly would be honor bound to accept her wishes. If it will get you the throne, I'll find Branca. My men traced Branca's disappearance to an ancient crossroads known as Caradin's Cross. It is many miles below where we normally venture, but I can provide a map to lead you there. Just enter the deep roads through the mines. Thank you again, and may the ancestors guide your steps. Oh, it's always something. Well, we have our mission. We have to find this Bronca person. Now, uh, this Bronca is a... What do they call him? Paragon. A Paragon is... Whoa, that fire is all messed up. A Paragon is a very important piece of the Dwarven society. But what a Paragon is, is essentially a person who has done something, like, incredible. What that is, I don't know. Uh, but it's essentially, like, the only way that a person born of a lower caste is capable of propelling themselves into the higher echelons of society. So, even a person born in the lower class area, off in Dust Town and all that kind of stuff, could build themselves up to be someone of prominence and significance by becoming a paragon. Well, anyway, once a once a dwarf has achieved a level of paragon, they create a statue for them over in the Hall of Paragons or the Hall of Heroes or whatever the hell it's called, and they're more or less like almost worshipped like gods at that point or saints or something. Stranger, have you seen a Grey Warden hereabouts? I've been privy to the rumor that he, or was that she? Hey, you understand this was many mugs ago. Was searching for Branca on Lord Harriman's own command. I'm the Grey Warden, and that would be a he. <laughs> well, if you're the best they got, then standards must have fallen way down. But I suppose that would account for a human in Orzammar. Say, could I ask you a favor? Why not? Everyone else does. Name's Zagre. If you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. <laughs> and that's mostly true. But the part they never say is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only paragon. And if you're looking for Branca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for. Which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. And what do you want in return for this information? I know what Branca wanted, and how she was looking. You, I assume, know whatever Harrowmont's men have dug up on where exactly she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Branca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Uh, sounds like we have a deal. You should know that Bronco was looking for the Anvil of the Void. 
The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Caradin built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Branka planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Caradin's cross. No one's seen that tag for 500 years. Haruma gave me a map. I can't get in the cones. I can get in the code. Care Damn it, that one right there in the middle. If we're going, let's get moving. Branka's not gonna sodding find herself. Okay, I'm gonna swap out. Vashadan. Okay, here we go. Be careful out there. Okay, we are going into the deep roads. Now, the deep roads are an incredible, like, labyrinth of tunnels and gigantic rooms and cities, or abandoned cities at this point, which travel all around the underside of Ferelden. And these were a series of roads that were created by the dwarves long, long ago as part of their civilization, but had become home to the Darkspawn during the First Blight, and essentially have remained the Darkspawn's territory since that point. The Dwarves have tried fighting the Darkspawn back, but they're just too numerous. Keratin's Cross. I can't believe Harrowmont actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old Empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Tig. So, you know where to go from here? Aye. Branka dug up some maps of the ancient empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now. But near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Taig. Any sign of Branka yet? Not a one. But trust me, we will once we're on the path to the old Orton Taig. She was going to Keridan's home. Great. Let's go. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. Who the hell are these people? Uh... Well, look what we have here. A couple of Haramon's little wacky. Let's show them who's king! Four enemies. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are tougher than they look. Where'd her body go? <sighs> okay, this feels as though the prince is still, uh, has sent people into the deep roads to chase us down. And, well, there's that. I've just realized that I have way too much equipment on me. I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the deep roads. So I'm going to get rid of some of this crap that I'm not going to be using. Because, you know, it's not very useful to me. And if it's going to prevent us from getting to where we need to go, or prevent us from picking up new items, I don't want that problem on my back. So I'm going to head back and see if I can get rid of some of the